Hey, this video is directions for how to create the natural resource curation assignment. So step one is to choose three natural resources. Um, you should already have a lot to choose from in your five column chart. Um, two of your resources need to be renewable, or I'm sorry, one of them needs to be renewable, one needs to be non-renewable. The third resource can be either, your choice. Um, and then the last part of step one is to find a photo for each resource and save it to your computer. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, just in case um, you're unsure. So one of my, re I'm going to do an example for trees. And the first thing I'm going to do is find a picture. So your picture could be just a generic picture of your resource in its natural um, organic form. For example, if I choose this one. I'm going to right click the photo, save image as, choose where you want it to save and give it a title so you know how to find it and save it. Um, it doesn't have to be an image of its natural form. You could do anything that has to do with it. So maybe you wanted to do um, a picture of its use. So um, well, let's see, furniture made from trees. Okay, so maybe you wanted to do something like that. Um, anything that relates to your resource is totally fine. Um, step two is to create three media albums in Schoology, one for each resource. And for your media album, you need all of this information included. So you need a name of the resource, whether it's renewable or non-renewable, three uses, the Earth sphere in which it's found, and then one picture. And I'm going to show you how to add all of that information into the assignment right now. Um, okay. So if you're adding a new media album to this assignment, so you're first make sure you're in the natural resource curation assignment. You're gonna click add media. You're gonna attach a file, upload that picture that you wanted um, to use and hit add media. Now, make sure you click on it again, um, and this time you need to add a caption. So on the right-hand side here, um, hit Edit Caption, and this is where you're going to include all of the information um, in, listed in Step 2. So you need the name of your resource, which is pretty easy, mine's tree, and then you need to state whether it's renewable or non-renewable. So we'll start with that. Okay, trees are a renewable resource. It just needs to be a small paragraph. The next thing I need to include is three uses. Trees are used to make paper, um, furniture, and build houses. Um, and then I need the Earth's sphere in which it's found, and then a picture which we've already added. So go back to the assignment. Trees are found in the biosphere. Okay, and that would be all of my information. So I would click Save, and then you can see all that information there. And then you would be finished. And of course, obviously, you would need to add two more um, resources.